the rainbow way up high. That's pretty good. Hello everyone, welcome to the Opinionated Gamers Podcast. My name is Cameron, I'm your moderator. Yet again this week, I'm joined by Sam. What up? And Zach. Hello. This week, we're going to be debating Rocket League. Now, what is Rocket League? You may ask, Rocket League is basically just soccer, but you're a car and you have boosts and you can jump and stuff. So, uh, we got Sam over here on the cons. Uh, Zach over here on the pros. You'll have one minute opening statements each. Then we'll let you guys debate for eight minutes. One minute closing statements. I just realized I was still on. Um, Rip. So we're going to start with Sam. I want to give you a minute. On cons? Yeah. You're going to start, and then Zach will go with the pros, and you can rebuttal. Okay. All right. Sam, start. All right. So Rocket League is a, su- uh, <laughs> Rocket League is a successful game. Yeah. But it doesn't have any substance. It doesn't have any depth. It, it has a lot of internet issues. The loot crate system's broken, and it's ridiculously overpriced. DLC is just. I mean, uh, is am I allowed to say? Sure. Cool. Um, the game doesn't have a lot to offer. The maps are boring, and so is the unique modes they say. And the sound design is terrible. I mean, it, it's a game about cars. You think they would have tried a little harder on that? And the controls are super clunky when it comes to playing on controllers. PC's a little bit better, but not by much. Um, it's a decent idea. It really is. It's just. It's not executed well, and the, the cosmetics that they try to offer you and say, hey, look at this, this is unique, this is fun, this makes you stand out, they're not cool. Um, some of them are cartoonish and kind of dumb, and I just feel like if, the, if this game was more oriented around the cars themselves, so you could kind of make a custom car, but to where it's something you actually wanted to have, not just an already set Thanks, up Sam. player model. <laughs> that, that, was, was, like, that was actually pretty good. Dude. Okay. You, you, you passed a minute. All right, Zach, one minute to do pros. Nothing, no rebuttals of his statement yet. Just do your pros that you, uh, like an open statement. Then he will start the debate and go Zach. Okay, so one of my favorite aspects about Rocket League is the fact that it's cross-platform. So you could have it on PC. Oh, darn, my friend doesn't have it on PC, but he has it on Xbox. You can still play with them. Um, Rocket League is a winner nominee, winner slash nominee, of over 150 Best of 2015 awards, including Game of the Year, Best Multiplayer, and Best Sports Game. It is also a game that is featured in the eSports community. In Rocket League, there are several game modes that you can play, both online and offline, so you don't even have to have an internet connection to play it. Even though it is multiplayer focused, you can still play it offline, and it's still plenty fun to play. Some of these game modes include Exhibition Mode, Season Mode, Online Ranked, and Online Standard. You can also play 1v1s, 2v2s, or 3v3s. There's also an unlimited amount of uh, customization you can do to your car, including the paint, the tires, the decals that are offered. Thanks, Zach. All right. And you guys that. have eight minutes to – you're going to rebuttal his statement, then you're just going to go back and forth. All right. And go. Okay. So first thing I want to start out with, you say you can be played offline, online. True. Offline, it's – it can be fun, but after a while it gets boring. The game is meant to be played with friends. Um, and – You think they'd make the matchmaking, or not the matchmaking, but the system that it puts you together with other players would be better and a little bit quicker. I've been placed with people, like I have a 22 ping, I've been placed with someone, not even lying, with a 394 ping, and it's, that's ridiculous for that to happen. It should have a better, like, system to show this person has good internet, this person has good internet, let's let them play together, not me with Chang, my boy, over in China, who is trying to play with someone in the U.S. Okay, so for, with that, you can select which region you want to play for. So that is their fault that they've checked all of them. You can play, you know, Eastern U.S., Western U.S., China, whatever. You can select that yourself. That's not the game's fault. That is your fault if you're selecting all of them just to play and get more matches. Okay, but that's what yeah. I'm saying. I'm in the Western United States area. Okay, that is what I've selected. That's the only thing I've selected, but I still get people that are on my team that have a horrible ping. Which brings me to my next point, the rank system. You get bad teammates, you get a lower score because you might be amazing at the game, which I give it to you. You're really good, okay? But you're not going to get higher and higher and higher if the teammates are bringing you down every time. Uh, real okay. quick, I'm actually going to fact check you here, Fontel. You said that you only have Western United States picked, but you play with your boy Chang in t- China. That, no, I'm... It was, okay, go ahead. Check it. I don't actually play with someone in China. I was just saying they have well, horrible... Well, don't say that. <laughs> that was the yeah. joke! Okay, um, the modes, they've got a hockey mode, 
which is not unique. It's it's just like the soccer mode, except it's a puck. It offers a different perspective to the game, though. Just instead of doing soccer, you got hockey or basketball. Okay, <laughs> basketball. Basketball is okay. I don't want to like be like it's piece trash. I don't like basketball at all. I think it's way too like complicated. Uh, this is going to sound horrible, but it's way too complicated for me to try and go up in the air or go around and score. It's it's car soccer, but in a different way to score, which I think is it's kind of ridiculous because at the very start of the game, and I mean the very start, if you just press jump and go up with your boost, you can hit it, and it might go in, might not. It's just Okay, but here you are arguing uniqueness. What about replayability? Are you going to get bored after a while playing the same soccer mode, or do you want to play something different like hockey or basketball? Well, all the modes themselves are boring. I mean, the basketball mode's too freaking hard. The hockey mode's just like the soccer mode, and the soccer mode doesn't really work. Car soccer is not a thing. It's a decent idea, but they should focus more on the aspect of the cars rather than the soccer. We're n I don't want to... It's not like FIFA, but it's a soccer game. And I think it should focus more around the customization and how cool you can make your car look, and then the different things you can do to show off skill. There is a lot of customization in the game. Okay. There's over, like, several billion different options you can do. Okay. And different, uh, different customizations you could do okay. for your car. So I don't see how that's Which a problem true, with Which is true, but I feel like, personally, okay, I would love to make a car that looks badass. And I mean, like, freaking cool. But then, you know, they have, like, a... Uh, WMD, the Worms game, and they've got one of the, like, the little guys popping out like, ooh, look at me. And it's a little cartoony. And I, I understand the game itself. It's not to trying to take itself too seriously, which I think is good. But I would like to be able to play a car and make that car look freaking cool. And you can. You can. You're going to have a crown on top of your car or devil horns. Why can't you put, uh, like, why, why can't you put more, like, actual options in real-life cars into the game? And then they have DLC... Which brings uh, I mean, to my next point. The DLC is overpriced. If you were to buy the DLC all at once, it's going to cost you $55.80 on Steam. Um, and I realize if you're going to buy it individually, it's $2 each time you want to buy a car. But why am I paying more money for cosmetics? That is Well, here's what I'm going to say. While I agree the DLC is overpriced, okay. you don't have to buy it. True. You don't have to buy it to play the game and enjoy it. Okay. All right. Um, that was good. I'm going to give you that. It's freaking good. Um, it's not like different games where you have to buy the DLC in order to true. play to win. It's there if you want it, but you don't have to get it. All right. It's kind of like skins in League. True. Yes. Okay. Um, one thing I will say, though. Um, you're right. I don't have to buy them, but I shouldn't want to. I see that, and it's like that looks kind of decent. All right. The Dominus, uh, the Dominus DLC with that car, it's cool, but... I already paid money to play the game, and I backed the game before, so it's just, I feel like they, they're making enough money. Why do they want to add this DLC that doesn't really matter? And then they kind of, not sell out, but then they get things like Batman vs. Superman, and then Doctor, Doctor Strange, um, Back to the Future, and stuff like that. Which, it's just, I understand they want to make money, but I feel like they should focus more on the, oh shit. <laughs> I feel like, oh, I feel, okay, I'm just, oh, sh right. I just contradicted myself so hard. Rip. Yeah, rip me. All right, I'm just going <laughs> to... The controls. <laughs> the controls. All right. Yeah, let's, let's move on to a different point because you just destroyed me. Um, the controls are clunky. That's what I have to say about that. In which aspect? The controllers or the mouse and Both. keyboard? Okay, so, uh, especially on, uh, on PC, it's better. It really is. But on the controllers, um, there's this thing you can do called a power drift, okay? which is where you drift and use your boost. It's super freaking helpful, and if you can accomplish it, you look cool like a freaking pro, and you can do a lot of unique moves, and you can get around the map faster. But on Xbox and PlayStation, you have to press the two buttons that are opposite to each other, okay? So on Xbox, I believe it's, uh, what, uh, X and circle, or no? For X and just a. the power slide? Or yeah, power for the slide power slide, because you have to press the two buttons, but they're opposite power to each other. Power slide is just X. No, because you have to do the boost. So boost is X, or boost is B. Mm -hmm, yeah, and then to drift is X, so you need X and B. But what I will say to that, okay. just like any game, yes. you've got to get used to the controls. You've got to get used but to how it is played. They don't flow well, though. I I'm trying to press this button and this button. Well, meanwhile, I'm pressing jump because 
I have fat fingers, so I can't go in between the buttons. And I feel like a lot of, listen, my hands aren't that large. A lot of people are going to have problems with that. Um, and then on the keyboard themselves, um, the keyboard is better, I will admit, but... That I'm going to have to disagree with you on. Oh, oof, oof. Okay, why? Mostly because I just play controller and I'm used to it, so... Oh, I understand. I'm, I'm I just, which I'm going back to, yeah. I'm more used to the controller... I'm not used to the keyboard, but if okay. I wanted to use the keyboard, I have to get used to it. Okay, I'm also, I play with a PS4 controller, which has got the same problem where the buttons are on the opposite thing um, to do certain moves. And then, so I play with a PS4 controller too, but um, I, cr I lost the cord, so I had to play PC. Um, and it was the first time ever playing with a keyboard, and it was better, but still clunky. I feel like they could make them better for it being a card game. It, it needs to flow. And I will also say... It's a matter of different persons. Okay. Like, so you, like you're saying, oh, well, I like the keyboard better, and I said, oh, I like the controller better. Mm -hmm. It's how you play the game. Okay. And how you're used to playing the but game. But I didn't say I like the, the keyboard better. Oh, actually, no, I didn't. Yeah, you okay. did. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on to... Well, I mean, I hate to disrupt this actually thrilling argument. I actually think it's like one of our better debates so far. It's very heated, very back and forth. Okay. But we have hit the eight-minute mark. Already? Uh-huh. Wow. Do you guys want to go to ten? Yeah. Let's go to ten. Cool. Okay, I'm, I'm going to move on to the toxic players. Now, this game is nowhere near Overwatch. Don't – oof. Nowhere near oof. Call of Duty, nowhere near Overwatch. No, okay, I will agree with you on that. but it's there. And it's like – it's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack, except that needle stabs you, and it keeps stabbing you over and over and over again. And also – Players leave matches all the freaking time. Okay, so how is that the game's fault? Because uh, look at games like uh, Overwatch, for example. With the rank system, if you leave, you get penalized, like heavy, okay? And you leave in this game, and it just totally kind of ruins the game because you lose immediately when someone leaves. And usually the person who leaves gets so mad that they end up uh, ruining your um, game. Okay, but in regards but, to the toxic players, okay. how is that the game's fault? That they're toxic. Um, well, it's just part every, of the game. Every online community that you go to will mm -hmm. have toxic players, no matter where you go. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't really affect the game other than, oh, I might go down, but well, I got another game, match. It makes me have a bad time. I don't play the game to just sit you there and you get have, bombarded you have the a, time. You have a leave button, and you can go yeah, to the next match. Yeah, and then you leave, and you, if, you're still ruining the game. Okay, that's them. That's really not the game. Because of an individual who had a bad day and has to take it out online. Okay. I don't see how that takes away too much from the gameplay other than, oh, I might have to go down a level or whatever. You can get it back. Well, if, uh, if ra uh, just interjecting here, if ranking is based on the ability if someone leaves or not, then the game really should have like a lever buster system. Like if someone leaves, then you shouldn't be penalized at all. Um, Which I believe Rocket League has. That, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not. I'm, I'm sure not they really have sure a either. penalize. Okay, but you're saying um, that's not the game's fault. It's not, but it's part of the game. So if you're going to buy this it's part game, of the game, so you need just to get used to it. That. Yeah, just get used to the fact well, that there are like, toxic people. I would like to play with people who want to, you know, be positive and support each other instead of having. Uh, John well, if you want to do, wow, if you totally want to do that, play with friends. I don't have any friends. Then get some. I can't. They just all run away quicker than anyone. If you're going to go online and meet random people, expect to find the toxic. Random people, people which brings me back to the internet. You need a freaking strong internet connection to play this game, okay? My internet is not the be are, are we done? It's we been ten and a half minutes. You guys want to keep going? Yeah. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to keep time. going until you guys are done because I'm actually having a good time listening. Okay, so the internet. I have an internet connection. I have an internet connection. Lord! Indeed. I have internet <laughs> connection problems, okay? And my internet is amazing. I, I, don't, I don't know what it is, but it's really freaking good. Okay, so for me to have problems with this game while I'm in my region – in my region only, is ridiculous for me to lag as much as I do. Okay, I can't really offer much on that because I have a good connection. I don't have problems with that. None so I don't know what your problem is with that. Well, that's not kind of mean. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can see how often the servers are down real fast when you guys talk. Yeah, do okay. that. Um, let's talk about the maps. We haven't gotten to the maps yet. Okay. Um, I understand that the maps need to be kind of similar. Goal here, goal here. Okay. But if you play in the experimental mode, which they have, there are tons of different maps which are actually fun, but they're never released. Um, and then you have the maps where they, they try and um, uh, uh, make them, like, unique and fun. But all they have is um, it's elevated here, 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 and here, which makes it harder 
to All right, actually... it looks like they have, just real fast, sorry, it looks like they have yeah. about server issues about every three to five days. Okay, so that's quite often. Um, is there any explanation to them, I gotta yeah, ask? Any... Like, is it, I like, just, I game updating s- or whatever? I can just see... The game doesn't update that often. All I can see from this is when more than a thousand people have said that there's not connecting. The game okay. does update a lot, at least on Steam. Okay. I've seen updates, like, every two to three yeah. days. Okay. Um, let's keep going on the maps, though. Okay. Um, maps have to be similar. But they've, they've shown that they can do maps that are unique and fun, but they never release them, which is strange to me because the maps that they do have now are kind of boring. Okay, I can't. I do agree with you that the maps can get kind of boring because mm-hmm. they're kind of the same, but there's only so much you can do. One goal, one goal, field. I saw, okay, I saw a reason, a reason. I saw a map, okay, and it had goal right here, goal right here, and it's a half circle. That's amazing, and that looks really yeah, I fun. Think, I think I've seen that map, yeah. too, and it looks okay. really good. And it's never been released, and I don't understand why. And I keep going, never been released, and I sound like a bird, but it's just so, like... So where is this map at, sorry? Uh, it's on the experimental mode. It's on the experimental mode. Yes. Okay. Which is, I mean... I'm not familiar with experimental mode, so okay. I can't offer much okay. on that. Um, it's there. It's I think it's called like experimental maps, though. Um, but I just feel like they could offer a lot more. I feel like the devs have gotten lazy because of their game is doing so successful that they've laid back because they don't need to do as much work because so many people are playing it now. But you look at like all the DLC and everything. I don't think they've made an original DLC which actually like looks like they put time and effort into it since the game was launched. Now all I see is Batman vs Superman, uh, Back to the Future, Fast and Furious. Hot Wheels. I mean, it's a good marketing strategy to go with what's popular well, yeah, at the time. Yeah, with the cars, okay, but at the same time, they don't release anything that's, like, unique. I don't want to play in Vin Diesel's car because it's, like, I don't like that. Does Vin Diesel's car come with any, like, special abilities, like... No. Or the exa- okay. Because, like, I know, like, cause, like, I know, like um, the car, the, the cars, the cars themselves don't really have any. They special come with abilities. kind of a special okay. cosmetic. Well, so. I was just asking because, like, you both played League of Legends. You know that they don't really do new game modes. They just do new champions yeah. every now and then to keep well, the game fresh. With the bat- I, was, I was, I was wondering if it was something like that. No, but it it's like not. It with the Batman car, uh, his Batmobile. If you were to blow someone up, it has a uh, a bat symbol of smoke when you blow them up, as well as when you score it, it has um the bat symbol there too. Which it, I, it, I think that'd look pretty cool. It does look cool, but it doesn't. Like affect anything really? It's just there to look at. Just well, do you like, want them to add special abilities to have one overpowered versus another? Well, now they have rumble mode, so they've already done it because their game wasn't interesting enough already. So they had to add punching and kicking and teleportation. It's like their game wasn't good enough in the first place, so they had to add something to make it a little more interesting. Which um, it's freaking boring. And it's wh- like <laughs> it's easy mode essentially. They add all these power ups to make you do this. I don't want the cars to have power ups. I want the cars to be good. Okay, that's why they don't have power-ups in the standard mode, though. That's a different game mode entirely. True. In the standard, ranked, or whatever, they don't have those. Yeah. Okay, yes. That's true. I don't want to debate that. You're right. They don't have it in standard mode, but standard mode's boring, and then you get in this mode for a while, and it's boring. I have had the game since launch, and I've played it a lot, okay, but I've gotten bored of it. And it's like, I haven't gotten bored of um, games like Ark Survival Evolved, and I understand they're different games, but at the same time, I've had one since launch. I've had one since launch. This one's still fresh. This one's getting stale. And they're adding more content, which costs money. And I don't want to pay money for more content. Does that make sense? Like I said earlier, you don't have to You pay don't for have it. to, but if you want the game to be new and fun, you can try, but it doesn't even make it new and fun. So it's like, why can't they release a DLC for free, like uh, an anniversary update or something, if they really want to, that makes the game fresh and new. Overwatch does that, and it does work. All their DLC is free. No, I think they did release a second anniversary. Okay. Some I don't know what exactly it was included. You can fact check me on that. Well, Somebody, I, I also but. know when the anniversary came up, they added this great system. Now, <laughs> Battlefront 2 has been under so much freaking fire for having a great system when the devs of Rocket League just kind of slid it in there. It was there because one day I was playing, and I was like, this is cool, and then I got a key, and I was like, what does this key go to? And I opened a crate, and it's like, you can want to do this. This one requires three keys. This one requires two. See, but at least you cosmetics. can. At least you can earn those keys rather than have to buy them. You still like have to buy game. them. You just said you earned it in a game. Yeah, because I barely. It gives you a free key when you open the game for the anniversary. 
Did it? Because I didn't get one. Well, what the hell? Well, I guess I was screwed then. <laughs> the devs of Rocket League with... <laughs> um, All right, anyway. <laughs> no, but the crate system, I think that's a really important point we should touch on. I know okay. we're going way over the limit, but... Way over. We're way over. More than... <laughs> that's fine. Um, Overwatch has a great system. Uh, PUBG has a crate system. H1Z1, all these games have a crate system. But personally, I don't like crate systems. And I don't think a lot of people do. Because... I actually can't find a two-year anniversary really? Cause DLC. I, I thought I saw it on the their website. I can find a two-year anniversary patch. Okay, what was on I that? Cannot I know, find I, I, know DLC, I found a second-year anniversary. I don't know what it was for. Uh, it looks like it comes with a lot of stuff. Um, Champions Field, um, a bunch of audio was changed. Overdrive Crate added. Champions Crate Series. Uh, crates? Competitive Season 4 uh, ended. Competitive Season 5 beginning. Rick and Morty items now available, so they're going I got, basic. I got a Mr. Meeseeks here. the other day, and I have been rocking that ever since. Mr. Meeseeks, look um, at Trials, new crates, new arenas. Uh, that wasn't a DLC, though. It was just a patch. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, let's continue on the crates, because right. I really do think it's a gigantic point that needs to be talked I, about. I agree. So... It's harder to earn the crates. Like, in Battlefront, it's pretty easy. Yeah, you can buy them, but also you get a daily crate every day. Um, Overwatch, they have the weekend, or uh, you can play arcade games. You win nine, you get three crates, okay? This one, there's nothing like that. You have to get the keys. And then when you look inside the crates, there are some pretty cool items, I will admit, but the crates are really hard to get. Um, And again, it goes back to the same thing. I don't have to buy them, but I shouldn't have to. If that, like... That doesn't make sense. No. I, I don't have to buy them at all. I don't have to go pay money, right? But you shouldn't feel like you have to buy it. It's basically. If they would have just made it free to add to the game. I just, okay. I don't want to I, I will money. agree. I don't like the crate system. Okay. Because I don't. It's a crate system. It's, it's a crate good. system. I mean, any game that has added it, I don't. Do you have to buy Rocket League? Like the game? Yeah, you, have yeah, you do that. have to buy the game, but I think, bucks. yeah, it was 20 bucks last time and I saw it. And if you get the game of the year edition, it's 25 Okay. Which is a great deal. So I think I think um, yeah. I'm going to interject here and end this debate. Okay. Uh, we are 10 minutes, 11 minutes over now. Ooh. Oh, um, dang. I'm going to mention a few things. Okay. So uh, they have to add the crate system, uh, I think, to keep their servers up. Like, yeah, it's $20 to cost, but they also got to, co- you know, employees, servers, um, the Rocket League Championship Series. They got to pay for all that. Okay. Um, which, like, uh, with games like. PUBG, it's like not as big of a deal because it's not. And games like Overwatch and PUBG, it's not as big of a deal because it's the price of a regular game. It's about sixty bucks. Uh, it's not twenty. I'm like, I know with League of Legends, they sell skins because it's a free game, um, and so they have to sell skins. You can also buy keys for crates. You you earn keys like really easy. Keys and chests, really easy, uh, just by playing the game. But you can also buy them, and that's like to help them keep their servers up. Uh, to pay their employees okay. to do the pro scene. Well, they have mil- Okay, I don't want to argue with you, but I'm just going to say they have millions of players, and it's just... It, the game's $20, yeah, but they have millions and millions of players, and I still guarantee they have money, in, and people are still buying the game. It's still going up. It's letting you know why it probably is. All right, cool. Now that we're way over, I'm going to give... Zach, his closing statement. For, actually, no, I'm going to give Sam's closing statement first, and Zach. All right. uh, you have one minute on the clock. Sam, go ahead. Okay, so we had a really good debate. It, was, yeah, we it went way over, but it was really good. So um, I agree with you on some points. I don't have to buy a DLC, but it's like it's $55.80 to buy every single one. For an indie game, that's ridiculous. Um, you have not any problems with the internet. I have, and mine's really good. And uh, my friends of mine had as well. Um, it looks bad. Yeah, like your friend in China. <laughs> Chang. It looks bad Chang. on consoles. It's... That can't really be helped, but it is a point. And the toxic players, it's a thing about the game, and it affects the game. Um, the ranked mode doesn't add that much. The modes aren't unique. The maps are boring. Um, the cosmetics aren't fun, and they don't make it look like an actual cool, amazing car. So um, that's really all I would say. Cool. Since that was so over, I'm gonna load. that was 45 seconds, but you're okay. Uh, Zach, one minute on the clock. Go ahead. All right, so this game is featured in the esports community, so that means it had to have been a very good game to be involved in this community. So you can sh- you can customize your car in many different aspects, including its wheels, including the paint, including the decals. So the customization is there. You just got to be able to customize it well enough to your liking. Okay. So the modes, the season mode, the exhibition mode the rumble the online standard the online ranked offer a lot of 
replayability to this game. And for a game with all this replayability that you can go back to, to be at $20 is a great deal. So this is why I like Rocket League, and I think it will continue to grow. And it'll be one of those games that we'll see stay around for a very long time. Cool. Those were excellent Actually, closing statements on both sides. Yeah, good, good job. Good, good debate. I think that was probably well, definitely probably top two, top three. Easy. Yeah. Um, cool. If you guys want to see more debates, uh, remember to subscribe. Click the links down in the description to buy Rocket League. Test it out for yourself. Let us know who's right, who is wrong. Sam wins, Zach wins. Ha hashtag Sam wins, hashtag Zach wins. You can also click on this card right here. It's going to say who wins. And it's going to have a couple options. It'll have Sam, Zach, and then something about me. Darren always includes something about me for some reason. Because he's a sexy boy. Probably. That's why I'm single. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Feels bad. Hey, hashtag me too. Me oh. too. As it has is like six hours ago. Shut up. <laughs> so... Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you want to check out more videos, we have a lot more videos. Um, we're gonna have we like we have gamers guides, we have parents guides, we have this show. We have two shows that we're currently working on. We want to get a uh, couple recorded before we re release them to you guys. We also have the Monday show where Darren gets roasted. Get yeah, boy. Yeah, my boy, Darionis. My boy, roasted. Darren getting gets that roast. Heckin' roasted every week. Get destroyed. By the same YouTube comment. Darren is in his whole hiding. It is great to see. I actually had to email something to him the other day, and the email, he's like, send it to the... Darren is, is in his, in his whole, whole Yeah, I did the same thing. At it's abbreviation, though, was funny. Sad. So, all right, cool. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See ya. See ya. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Links in the description down below. See ya. You're wrong. You want to know why you're wrong? Because I'm right. Wrong. 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 Um, that's incorrect.